Hello everybody, and yeah, this video will be my first video of this year. So actually it's the second video, because my first video was some short video, but this short video don't count. And for this reason I need to wish you all the best in this new year. But I start this new year with a lot of work, which also means that I need to start to work on my YouTube channel. And in this first video, I will make some battery, which is based on some battery which I make around one year ago. And I also get some requests, or better to say, some questions, if this kind of battery can be made. And the battery which I make one year ago was some zinc bromine battery, which uses some sand for holding some zinc bromide electrolyte in place. But now was the question that instead of making some zinc bromine sand battery, can I make some zinc iodine sand battery? And yeah, I can. Because only what I need to replace in this kind of battery is the electrolyte. So instead of using some zinc bromide electrolyte, I will do some zinc iodide electrolyte, for example. But before I will make this zinc iodine sand battery, I need to make some electrolyte. Okay. Here in this cup I have 50 ml of water. And now into this water I need to put some source of iodine. And my source of iodine will be some potassium iodide. And into this water I will put 8 grams of potassium iodide. But if you want to halve the concentration of iodine, then in this case you also need to halve the concentration of potassium iodide. Okay, around 8 grams. And because this battery is some zinc iodine battery, for this reason we also need to have some source of zinc. And my source of zinc will be some zinc sulfate. But instead of using some zinc sulfate, you can also use some zinc chloride, for example. And into this beaker I will put 14 grams of zinc sulfate. Okay. And now after some time I get this. So I get almost clear solution, but you can see also on the bottom is some potassium sulfate. And now let's test this electrolyte. On the positive electrode I will create some iodine. And on the negative electrode, I will create some zinc. And let's see what I will get. And yeah, on the positive side, I get this Audi. And here on the negative electrode, here, is coated with zinc. Really nice. And now let's make the cell. So for the housing, I will use this plastic container. For the electrodes, I will use these two carbon rods. This one is already covered with some zinc. Uh, I will also increase the surface area a little bit of this positive rod with some activated carbon felt. But if you don't have any activated carbon felt, don't worry, you can only use this carbon rod. So this carbon rod on the positive side will serve like positive current collector. But in my case, I will increase a little bit 
the surface area. For this reason, I will cover this camera rod with this activated camera felt. Just a little bit. So, and now I will wet this activated camera felt with the electrolyte and actually the positive electrode is ready. Now into this lid I will make two holes. Like so. I will also add a little bit of Two more of zinc sulfate, couple of drops, So the sand makes really nice job of soaking the electrolyte, which is really nice. Because sand you can get almost everywhere. But if you don't have any sand at home, some dirt will also work really great. Oops. Okay, so this will be the positive and this one will be the negative and this will be my Oops. zinc out in sand battery really nice now what i need to do i need to charge this kind of battery and now after five minutes of charging i get the voltage of 1.25 volts Really nice. And now this cell will spin this drum motor for some time. I also get some little assistance from my four year old daughter. What is her name? Mia. Okay, Mia. <laughs> so guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video.
拜。